Misha here on my channel B to 3 I'm doing a little something different today because I'm out of town on vacation in Mexico right now. Well, I am right now when you're watching this. Right now it's the day before we leave. And I had talked about maybe putting up a hope chest uh, video on what we have in our hope chest and what we've kind of been like stowing away for someday when we do eventually have a baby. And I decided maybe I would film it before we left so I could put it up for you Monday instead of my usual update. So that's what I'm doing. Behind me is a bunch of stuff that we've collected for when we eventually have a baby. Um, we don't do it very often, but we do it especially when we see like very special items or items that would be perfect or things that we really like. And we have some stuff that we've received from people as gifts or anything like that. So I'm going to just jump right into it and show you some of the stuff. It's all so cute and I'm really excited to show you. So the first thing that I want to start with, because that way I can put everything in it, is this bag back here. And Edwin bought me this bag last time I was pregnant. And it is, for all intents and purposes, going to be my diaper bag someday when I have a baby. Um, not that I don't love diaper bags from the store and everything, and it took me a while to wrap my mind around having this as a diaper bag, but it is literally perfect for one. It's got two big pockets right here in the front, a side pocket here, and then a zippered one in the back, and then it is huge, enormous inside. So it's perfect for like storing little things as you're going, and it's got nice long straps, and it's kind of masculine so that Edwin can feel like he can take it too. The bottom also is really stiff and has these things for you to set it down on so it'll stay standing up. I love it. I'm really excited about it. So this is one thing in our hope chest, um, a diaper bag, a leather one, because we're fancy. The next thing I'm going to show you guys are actually kind of things for my pregnancy next time I get pregnant and or like for the baby in general and they're books. Um, the first one is just a blank journal and it's one I'm saving that I thought was really beautiful for a pregnancy journal that I can write in when I get pregnant next time for the baby to have when they're older to look back on. Um, the second book is actually a baby journal. Um, it says that and they might seem like the same thing. This is actually more of like a baby book. I am obsessed with this. This is actually our most recent purchase and it is so stinking cute. I love baby books and this is kind of like a modern take on one which I love even more. So this book is perfect. It's got um, it's got like a little bit of stuff for when you're pregnant, like the first page says before you arrived and then it's got like the fruit diagram of like how big you were at whatever week, which is super adorable. And then it's got pages about this is the first time I saw you and it's got a little envelope built in so you can put in their um, sonogram pictures so cute and it's full of beautiful things like that and then when they get a little older pictures for their first outing or souvenirs from it there's growth charts there's breastfeeding position and like breastfeeding um, diaries and swaddling guides there's just a, it's gorgeous and it is the baby journal from cicada c-i-c-a-d-a -C and i believe it's like a british line because um the publisher is british but i'm obsessed with this this is one of my favorite things in our hope chest. I love it. I read it like all the time. I just flip through it. The next two things uh, in our hope chest are actually two really special things for Edwin and I. They are actually, um, they're stuffed animals. And as you can tell, one is a little bit more worn in than the other. And actually this first one, um, this bear, Edwin and I made on our very first date. We went to Build-A-Bear. We were also like 21 years old, 20 years old, so give us a break, it's a little cheese-tastic. But we uh, made this bear together at Build-A-Bear on our very first date. And I slept with it ever since. Until recently, um, over the last like year and a half, I think he's been put away to kind of maintain him because I've already worn him a little into the ground. Um, but yeah, we made him together and there's like two little hearts inside where you get to make a wish at Build-A-Bear. And after we um, got engaged or knew we were going to be together for a long time, we decided that we would make one like at every big milestone in our relationship and then we would retire one and then we would like share it, you know, in our bed, we sleep with one. And that eventually we would have enough to give to all our future children. So we made this one on our first date. We made this one when we got married and moved on to sleeping with this one instead of the old one, um, just so that we could save the old one a little bit more now. Um, and this one has two hearts in it as well. And yeah, it's 
they, we put them in our hope chest and they're for our children, but they're also like, this is my teddy bear and I sleep with him. Not ashamed, whatever. I'm 26 years old and he lives in the bed. But that's so that we can just love on them like before we give them to our kids and so they're a little worn in. My, our intentions are for them to be their like lovies when they are babies. So this is our first one. This is our second. I think when we get pregnant next time or maybe when we make it to like our gender reveal, um, when I'm next pregnant, maybe we'll make another one and retire this one so we can get to, to three. Or maybe when the next baby is born, we'll, or our future baby is born, maybe that's when we'll make a third one. We want to get up to like four or five so that so that we have enough for like however many children we ever want to have. The next thing in our hope chest is actually not something as sentimental as those bears, which ugh, tug at my heartstrings every time I talk about them. I love those bears so much. Um, but this is something that we just recently saw at Target and I died over and I was like, well, we have to have that. And it's this beautiful blanket. It was limited edition and it's just like got beautiful tribal print all over it. And then the back side is fuzzy. And the tribal print on the front is kind of like a micro, like it's really small knit. And so it's like really soft, but it's also, I don't know, just like smooth. And I love this blanket. I think that it'll be like a big inspiration for our nursery whenever we have a baby, or we'll at least, we'll find a way to work it in because I'm obsessed with this blanket. It is so gorgeous. The last thing in our hope chest that I'm gonna show you guys today are actually just clothes. Um, we have a few, different little outfits and onesies that I really love and we only hold on to the ones that we're like really tied to. So these are the ones that we have and I'm just going to go through them and show you. We also have, we have some stuff in our hope chest that like I'm not going to show today which are mostly just books. Books upon books upon books we have saved in our hope chest. And that's really the only other thing we ever get. We get either special clothing items if we see them and absolutely cannot live without them. We sometimes will get something for the nursery if we see it and know that we'll never see it again, like the blanket. And then otherwise, we only collect stuff that's um, either A, gonna be really useful and like, oh, we have to have it right now, or B, like something that we know we'll never see again. So these are some things that we have as far as clothes for the baby with those parameters in mind. The first a couple of items are ones that we got as gifts the last time I was pregnant, and they are so cute. They're little University of Oregon outfits. For those of you that don't know, we're from Oregon and I'm a huge duck fan. And oh my gosh, how stinking cute is that? We have like three of them. So that's one of the onesies. These are the little pants that go with it. Oh my gosh, dang, that's cute. This is another one of the onesies. I mean, seriously. And all those three came together in a little package um, and they were a gift and I, love them and I don't even care if it's a girl when we have a baby I'm totally gonna make her wear them these next ones are also gifts and they're a little bit more gender neutral and they're just um, outfits and I oh my gosh I die look at that oh my goodness how cute um, there's another one that's just like it except blue and tealy blue so it can be gender neutral and then there's two with characters on them one with little elephants which are my favorite. And then another one with turtles. Dang, dang, that's adorable. This next one says, if you think I'm cute, you should see my auntie, which I'm pretty sure she gave me last time I was pregnant. Look how teeny tiny that is. Someday there'll be a person in this. Isn't that crazy? Um, the next two are ones that I got for Edwin when I found out I was pregnant last time. And they were two my dad is cooler than your dad is the first one. Two daddy themed onesies and the other one says daddy's little sweetie on it. And so we're just saving them because we'll get to use one of them one day or both of them, hopefully. And then this last one is actually the first, I think, piece of clothing that we ever bought for a future baby. It was before I was pregnant last time and we got it just as like, uh, just we walked by it 17 times in Target and then finally we're like, we have to have this. We cannot leave the store again without it. And it's this little knit outfit. Oh man, is that precious or what? It's just beautiful and I love it. If you could like feel it, it feels like someone just knit a blanket and I want to stick a baby in this little tiny blanket onesie so bad. So cute. Yeah, I'm dying. I love our baby clothes. So like I said, um, we kind of only save things that are really, really precious to us. 
The books that we have are a big grouping of ones that we've either seen in the store that we really love or our own like childhood books that we've held on to for our future children. So I'm not going to bore you with like our stacks of them, but they're really cute. That's the other thing that we save. And that's pretty much it. I hope that you guys really like this hope chest kind of montage of things that we save. It's actually really cathartic for me as I'm trying to conceive to hold on to some certain things just because it's, I mean, I think it helps me connect to the fact that like one day this will all be over. It will, because one day like eventually when you're trying to conceive, one of two things happen. You either get pregnant or you move on to like a different route of having a family or you just decide that you're not going to have a family anymore. And if you are one of the people that decide you're never going to have a family, all of these things that I've held on to would make incredible gifts for like people that we know and love and want to like give them something of ourselves. But in my heart, I know that either way, like somewhere these will be used for my family. And that's why I start a hope chest. That's why I keep it up. That's why I love every stinking item in it and collect things because one day they will be used for our family. And that gives me a lot of hope. Hope chest. Makes sense, right? So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next week, hopefully for an update. Um, I know right now it's kind of in the dark. It's Thursday right now, and this is going up Monday of next week. Thursday of this week, still got kind of nothing, just waiting in my two week wait. I'm 10 DPO right now, and they've got no action. So I will let you know uh, next week. Hopefully I'll be able to film a trying to conceive update next week when I get back, maybe like Wednesday-ish, and put it up on Thursday or Friday. We will see. Thank you guys so much for liking the videos, for giving me comments and subscribes, and I love your faces, and I will see you next week. Bye!